Obviously golf. There's a piece there, there's a piece there. <laughs> there's one right there. Oh, there it is. Lesser goals. Sitting on bedrock. Good morning, everybody. Today is gonna suck. It is very, very cold out, and I'm actually gonna go sniping in the coldest river on the planet, which is Dan Hurd's claim, his dream claim, where he's found a lot of nice nuggets before. Now, it's early in the morning, and I'm already wearing my neoprene underlayer because I wanna be 0.01% warmer before I get into that water. Dan is actually pretty cold right now. He's sitting in A&W and refuses to leave, so. I'm gonna go get him. We're gonna go to the river. We're gonna find some gold. How crazy am I for getting in my wetsuit today? Nuts, absolutely nuts. We are here. Oh man, what a beautiful place. I wonder if there's gold up there. I love how the water is like this aquamarine bluey green, but unfortunately that means it's cold. So Sile is with us today. He's just getting his waders on. I think he's gonna be doing some high banking with Dan, right? That's right, yeah. High banking with Dan in my very cold, wet waders from yesterday. My wetsuit is actually wet from yesterday too. Kyle and I kind of decided to go surfing along a river and uh, now we're paying the consequences for that. But again, hopefully we will find gold, which will keep us warm. Dan, you're high banking today, aren't you? Yes. Are you gonna find some gold? Yes. yes. Are you warm? Uh, no. I like your sweater. Dan will be using the Crux Prospecting Ocean Picture Stone High Banker. I actually really like that blue. That blue is almost like the water. So if you lose it in the water, it's gone. It's gone. Anyways, enough talking. I'm gonna put on that wet wetsuit. I'm gonna get in that water and I'm hopefully not gonna regret it. Okay, after I was done stalling, I suited up and started my slow journey to look for an area to work. But finding a safe place to do so was a job in itself. Okay, so it's been a couple hours. I haven't found a single speck yet, but I have found some ironstone and Dan did say he found a nugget while high banking so far. So we know the gold is there, but the water is just too high for me to snipe. Plus the bedrock up here is just too fractured. So a lot of the gold will be falling down in there and I just can't see it. So what I'm doing is hiking downstream to see if I can find some more solid bedrock. Now we are here for two days. So if I don't find anything today, I can at least charge my GoPro so it's at 100% and maybe have a better idea where to snipe. I need the camera back. I would love to get over there, but it's just, it's too violent. I'm confident that I could do it, but I'm just not gonna do it. All right, so I have Kyle's mail detector here today and I just saw some bedrock, so I decided to detect it. And I got a really nice signal in here. I'm not gonna waste your time. It was a nail. So I did find bedrock and it was really hard bedrock, which is awesome. The problem was I could not find a single speck despite how many cracks I opened and gravel I searched through. Eventually I did find a piece, but that's about all the footage I took. All right, after hours and hours, our first piece of gold. I spent some more time here, but just came out with nothing. Okay, so day one was a dud. Well, almost, I actually found one piece, but it didn't go up the snuffer bottle, so yeah, it was a dud. But that's okay, sometimes that happens. Sometimes you find gold, sometimes you don't. And we still have one more day left, so the next shot will either be me in the water showing you some gold that I found, or if I find some gold metal detecting, because I'm gonna do that until Kyle and Dan get back. Change of plans, the next day I left my wetsuit in the car, hiked in with Dan and Kyle, and decided to shovel dirt to find gold instead. So both Dan and Kyle found a lot of gold just in this area right here. So what we're gonna do is kind of finish off what they were doing and then we'll move this way, roll some boulders over, hopefully get back onto it. So did you expect to do a second day high banking? Um, I thought it was a possibility for sure. Yeah. I, I was hoping we'd do well. We did. And <laughs> we'd want to do it for another day. But now that I'm here, the professional digger, I'm gonna help obviously, and hopefully we'll find more gold than they did yesterday. That's the plan. You look enthused. I'm always enthused. Can't you tell? Before we can run, I need to flatten yesterday's tailings out so we have a place to set the high banker. It's not as good as the purple one, but you use what you get. It's just as good. Bucket number one. Teamwork makes the dream work. Pretty quick, I'll probably take over Dan's job because I know this isn't the easiest thing to do all day. There should be gold in this pile. Today I'm gonna to spend most of my time just sitting here scraping the ground, making sure we get every last piece of river gravel into the buckets. I worked pretty hard yesterday and kind of pooped, so I don't mind sitting down here doing the fine work. Okay, the beasts are going to try to move the rock. Oh, looks like it's gonna go easily. <laughs> nice. Paul, you can push it over as he lifts it up. I'm good for the day. Oh, you're done? 
Slowly but surely, we all did our part. So Kyle's digging away here on all this clay bedrock, and he did come across this, I think that's a quartz. It's, that... a, it's a carbonate. It's a uh, calcium carbonate. So a fancy way of saying quartz, right? No. <laughs> So now the boring work begins. Try to shovel all the dirt through the high banker before you run out of gas. Okay, that probably felt like 15 seconds on your end. It was about 10, 15 minutes of running. Hard to film while you're running, so I made Kyle and Dan film. Anyways, the first run is done. There's still some more material right here. But on the second run, we'll pile over that, so no big deal. A lot of material went through the sluice. Hopefully, there'll be some gold. So the water is now shut off. This is a fun part to see if there's any pieces of gold in moment the mat. Of, moment of what? Tooth. Duh. Moment of tooth. So, oh wow, look at that. We have gravel. Nothing obvious right now. Did you clean out the spot before we got here? Yeah. Oh. Well, let's just put it in the pan, pan it out, and see what the first run looked like. I like just having three of us working on it. Yeah. yeah. It's a little more relaxed. A little more. <laughs> Cookies? You want me to crumble? Oh, there's gold. Huh? There's a little piece right there. Teeny tiny. Right there. We got a little piece of candy. <gasps> Let's see. Gold, baby. Gold. Nice, mate. When you find gold, it means there's a good chance there could be gold around, mate. So first run, not bad. We are finding gold. Nothing too chunky yet, but there is still time. So this will answer whether the purple high banker is better than the blue one. Now at the end of the day, when we have a bigger section of this clear stuff, Dan's gonna get his detector and he's gonna scan this to make sure we didn't leave any big nuggets behind. So for round two, what are you thinking, Dan? Keep moving over. So we're gonna stay in this line, go this way, probably get Dan to move that by himself, that big rock, and then we're just gonna, yeah, dig under here, run it through the sluice, and hopefully find two pieces of gold. Their job is to dig and pass me buckets. My job is to sit here and make a pile. But in all honesty, I'm actually digging too. I enjoy digging, I enjoy moving big rocks. Despite what you guys have seen me do in the past, I'm actually quite strong and capable, but I get away with being lazy around these guys. Okay, I keep stalling, but we keep working. We made a whole bunch of progress over here. We have the biggest pile that we ran today. Wow! So I think round two, we have a good chance to find three pieces of gold. <laughs> I'm funny. So one scoop at a time, we slowly fed the high banker. It can take hours to pile up material, but sometimes just minutes to run through it all. Look at Dan and Polly over there, working together, having a good time. Oh, I love seeing those guys work together. So Paul said I should film during the last couple scoops through the uh, high banker. So here I am, filming! I can trust Dan to say something really important and valuable to the video. Look, I have a booger. Okay, this is a pretty special weekend for me. Dan and Polly were big inspirations for the High Banker Project and everything I've been doing with prospecting. I started prospecting from Dan Hurt's video, so it's a little bit surreal to be out here with these guys. And then we've got this incredible view of the river. Okay, round two is done. We're gonna shut off the machine and reveal Four pieces of gold. Nobody looks excited. So Dan, what's one thing you wish the audience knew that you don't have to explain every single video? One thing? How about one million things? Oh, one uh, main thing. <laughs> okay, um, I'm sorry, I can't take you out panning. I don't have time. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big one. Plus in BC, there are certain claims where you need per special access and that's a nightmare even for ourselves to do. All right. I see gold. Do you see gold? Yep. I'm in the hills again. I'm stuck. You can sit on my lap. Where do you see gold? Oh, There's a piece there, there's a piece there. <laughs> Right at the very top. Hold on, I can't see. Oh, I see a piece over here. That's another one. There's one right there. Right at the very top. And on the there. second ripple, third ripple. Yeah, for sure. This is a better run. Gold, gold, gold. Ooh. Oh, 
there's a, there's a nice chunk right there. Nice. nice All because of me. Right? Me, me, there. me. I rolled the boulders. I did the digging. I ran oh, the sluice. Right All because of me. Quit talking. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. wow. Down in there? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That That is cool. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah. One right below it, too, in the riffle below it. A little nugget. It. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little flake right there. Oh, dude. Right there. There's a rock. I'm giving the gold pan to Dan because I trust his panning skills. Maybe that's why we didn't get a lot of gold on the first run, because I suck at panning. I'm being a lot more careful with this pan than I was with my own yesterday. Because there's pulleys! I'm kind of excited for this one. It looked pretty good, didn't it? All because of me. Oh, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Here we go. Some chunky pieces. Chunky gold. Nice. So, second run looks to be obviously a bit better. We have some chunkier gold. We found a little piece of wire, a lot of fine gold, and obviously the bigger pieces. So what we're going to do now is utilize the metal detectors and roll over some boulders to see if we can narrow in on a spot that has heavy metals. Nails, lead, obviously gold. And if we can find a spot that's holding metals, there's better chance chance we can find some bigger pieces of gold. Either way, I'm not complaining. Look at where we are. We're finding gold. It is a beautiful, nice day. And I think I'm actually finding more gold out of the water than what I would have found sniping in the water because the water, it's just too high in this spot. So while Kyle and I are just working over here, Dan is filming his uh, short, and this is some behind the scenes here. He thinks he has a piece of gold. Do you think you have a gold, or did you find a piece of gold? I, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a piece. Okay, so we're gonna film it just in case. So, my buddy Polly is doing a high banking video right over there, and I'm detecting the bar over here to see if I can find gold nuggets. I just got a really good signal. <laughs> Now the different angle. Yeah, we're gonna get. Uh, so when you film, it takes a lot longer than what you guys actually see. Is that it? I nope. So you see it? I think so. Oh, there <laughs> it is. And there it is. A piece of lesser gold sitting on the bedrock. High five. Hey, it's not a huge piece, but that's a nice picker. Fast forward about two hours, Kyle and I have been just taking our time. <laughs> As if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no We've been taking our time filling buckets because we're all pretty tired right now, but we still have that third run to do to hopefully find five pieces of gold. But even if we find one or zero pieces of gold, this is nice. It's nice not being in that water, but I sure want to explore this claim a little more next time. Between the three of us, we all did our part getting dirty and feeding the sluice. And I spent most of my time using the shovel and making sure everything was running smoothly. How are you doing? Very nice. So we have moved a lot of material this weekend. Here, all the way across to about that line right there. And we've high banked all that material. Right now, that last little bit is what Polly, who is up there working right now, that's the material he's digging. I was really hoping you guys would be done when I got back. All right, nine days later, we're finally done that third run. You can see the mess that we did make. There's still material that we could run through here, but it's too hard to dig with a shovel, so I'm just gonna leave that here for next time. But for now, we're gonna clean this out and see what kind of gold is here. Okay, let's open up and have a look. <laughs> okay. I see one piece. Oh right, yeah. Right at the top there. Let's see. Uh, another one right beside it. Little guy. We just never know where to go. Either we go to the left or the right or the up or the down, but it just takes a lot of hours to narrow in on a spot. But it's okay, as long as you're finding gold, right? Yeah. See that one piece? Yeah, there's yeah. one guy in there. I let Dan take over the final pan because he's far more patient than I am. And just look how majestic he looks. All right, what do we got? We have rocks. We have gold. Okay. Nothing too big today. That's okay. We do have that nice little picker. Yeah, more pieces, but smaller. But smaller, yeah. So I ain't complaining. We still have 
gold. So here's all the gold that we found today. We have a lot of fine gold, some chunky bits, a roly poly piece, and even our little nugget. So I think it's safe to say that Dan, the video that you made with Kyle yesterday was much better. And I only mean better by the gold amount that you found. Uh, better quality video, Polly. Polly, yours is better quality video for sure. But and yes, we did do really well yesterday. I can't unfortunately show you the gold that they did find because that video hasn't been released yet. But I'll just say that it was enough gold for me to be convinced to get out of the water and come high banking, which is which is pretty rare. So stay tuned for his video. Thank you, Dengan. That was a lot of fun. I will come back with a better metal detector to see what else may be hiding here. And thanks again, Kyle, for being the professional you are to help us high bank because you know this machine oh so well. Thank you. I had a great time. So we're gonna pack up. I gotta drive all the way back to the airport, fly home, and then I'll dry the gold, dump it out, and have a closer look. Okay, I decided to do this at Kyle's house because it's closer. So here's the gold that I found sniping. And here's the gold we found high banking. Obviously, there's a bit of a difference. One we found gold, one we did not. I really do like how chunky the gold is here. So I think the next time we come by, I'm actually gonna spend more time high banking, metal detecting, and hopefully if the water is low enough, explore other areas to snipe. So let's weigh all this candy right here, weigh what we found sniping, and see what we got. So I wanna weigh this little picker here first. Oh, look how sweaty I am. I'm gonna guess five ounces. 0.155 grams, so almost one ounce. Now everything all together. 941 ounces. 0.625, so almost a gram of candy. Nice, enough to get a coffee and go back. If you want to see behind the scenes footage, early release videos, or even have live chats with me, check out the member page for more info.